are you traditional or digital artists who wonder have my art actually was using inside the ai art have people use it or reference in some image my style or the other things with the ai art so right here is a very interesting website have i been trained which is help you to upload it or reference your images and see if it was using in data set or database for other AI engine to access and using as reference. If you not totally understand how the AI art work or generated, I have an excellent video upcoming in a depth where we're going about how it's work for in a simple, simple way. So you can easily understand how AI creating the art, generating the art and how it's using all stylizations and everything. So that will come up soon. But right now, let's say you have it right here, all the styles and you wonder, have they used it my art? Okay, so have I been training.com? Go right there, register because you need to register if you want to submit the remove it your art. And what do you have next? You can go ahead, click on search by photo and download it. Before we jump to this, let me show you another way what I used to do. And I created some traditional art and digital art and all photography and everything. And I, what I usually done before, I gone to the google.com, you click on an image. Uh, let me show you from beginning. So you go on google.com and on the corner, you can see right here, images. So if you click on this, it will take you to a site where you can type image you want to show, uh, search, but right here, search by image. And then you can upload it or reference. So right here, for example, I'll go select this image. Um, that created inside Vuit's 3D render image. We can upload it. And after Google go search, showing you if found anywhere else, you can also just going and click view find image sources, which is open page. And you can see right here is my image, similar images, and also where's images use it. Right now it's a little bit less. Usually a lot of people use this image without permission. So I can go contact and I did have it my video i'll put it link above about the copyright and all the stuff how it's what's going on but just general say it's how we used to do but does it prevent from using an ai image because ai will reference by the way just let you know ai does not copy your image it's a reference same like an artist who may be drawing landscape will put it um canvas take it paint and look outside and reference and paint this way or some other stylization. So right here is what used to be. Now have you been trained? So let's go see what we happen here. I'm going to upload a photo click and let's go for now, just select same image and we'll click upload it. What it does, it's going to all the libraries and not so many. Look, it's found only a few images. Sometimes we'll have it pages and pages of the stylization. But before we jump to this, let's see how it's actually looking. To look actually on these images, it's referring to engine when you have an image to text or other things to um, access. And it's using library Lyon, which is um, have it tons of information. I think it's uh, about 430 terabyte of information there. It's a reference. So it's a huge, huge data set of data of information that other applications like DALI or Stable Diffusion can reference in great mod for them to use it as a reference. So we won't go in a lot of lot of details, just one show this is what is using. And it, again, it's accessing to the images, specific public domain images that you publish in a public sites, maybe social media and other ones. And they also it's actually a very smart engine because it's also look for the watermarks and try to avoid watermarks but not always if for example some public site will have it open for views you can access to this by the way let me repeat it again it, if it's this image like those cats it does not copy those images it is reference them like if you decide to build draw the elephants for me you need images of elephants if you never saw before this is what's happening it's a training and training gets minutes look on them it does not copy them it's reference how the object look so and this is what's happening here this is database so if you're going inside and you says oh this image for example let's click it's showing you what source it's come from and also the best parts is also show if it's more. So let me change on this. Let me go ahead and select some different images. And for example, let's go select this image. Okay. 
and we'll select this is render well it's created with a mid journey and specific string i will explain a little bit later and it's showing similar styles of this by the way if you think this style is original to this after i guarantee you 100 percent you're wrong because any after any after any artist who created they knowledge and all of this based on thousands and thousands of years of humans developing drawing skill inspire and it's all going to this it's a like building building on the foundation and every level is increasing up and up and it's what happened here okay this is not original style maybe perfected maybe change it something adjusting and again i have an excellent video coming how it's work which is a little bit more explaining about stylizations and copyrights but it seems like original image okay so let's go upload it this one and for example i go and i check maybe on this bear okay so this is a bear i was creating with stylization referred to specific style and i'll show you in a second for example let's go on this one and it's look like it's original kind of interesting black gold this but you know this is not original style this is style it's based on russian hoklama which is in 17 um 100 17th century it was created that specific style so even you see think it is kind of original and not original but if you digital artist it will help you if you see for some reason right here pop up your image and you don't want it like this image you don't want these people reference this image you actually can contact them and tell them to remove that digital image from the library so you can actually opt out personally to me I always opt in you know if people copy and put me in this in the quotes okay my style because not sure things as my style but if they copy my style I'm really I'm flutter if people do this even they don't give me reference to me it's meaning I'm already something enough for people to copy my style I'll be proud I found that many people when they start they feel insecure maybe it's why they kind of opt out or maybe they kind of just does don't trust this stuff and it's understandable and it's why it's service here for you so you can go ahead and opt out but if you also ai developer this is also help you a lot and then why because it go both way why you can find and second this is public images okay it's meaning i can go here and i can select some image and it says hey you know what i want to select this image i want to upload it and now I can go inside. It's go through all art. Remember, it's going not through AI art. It does not work like Lexica. When you go inside, you type and it's going through AI generated art. So it does not go through AI generated art. It's going through the normal exist art. And right here, for example, it's pop up for me. And then I can go on the image click and I can see where it's come from or who is created like right here. And I can reference that style in my art so it's actually helped me find correct style based on the image what i maybe like it but maybe i look around and find something similar so it's helped me to refine my text prompt so this website it's not just the, for the digital artists it's also for the ai artists it can go both ways it's going to help you create um, new images and help you to protect your images if you decide to do so okay so let me show you a couple other examples okay before we will be done with this and one for example if you downloaded this i downloaded like all the image that created sci-fi so we can look around and of course you know you can click on image it says hey uh the similar image that looking actually they're all about that stylization you know but you know girl through all the styles it's help also find maybe new exciting styles like that was very cool excitement but based on this i found another Yakushamuzi, they're um, different styles. So also you can use it this. Um, when you created AI art, I know some artists get very offended because you don't reference to the specific style. I'm repeating myself again. It's not so things as a my style with a quote because it is based on somebody else's work. However, if you feel like you want to reference, I highly recommend give it credits to the person if you specifically base it on someone for example i have a um, upcoming interview with a 
Scott Scott Harmon, who did it, uh, do a lot of oil painting for Star Wars for those who are interested. And we'll see his perspective on AI. But again, if you like I used his tiles, I reference says, hey, this is based on such such artist painting or some other work. OK, so, you know, and it's actually very, very fun style. I well, website, I played a lot. I gone right here, go create, click on some different images that was created. You know, like, for example, let's go see my style of the pencil drawing. OK, and right here, rocket drawing. Oh, look, look how many copycats I have it on my doodling things. It seems like this is very um, style that people like copy. My doodling style seems like a lot. Well, anyway, so here's our website. Again, if, you, if you're interested, please go there. Let me show you full name. And if you're going there, it's called Have I Been Trained? Um, an interesting, nice service. Go ahead, play around if you're digital artists who try to protect or if you are the AI artists who try to generate work. It's worked very well for both. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.